Hey there everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. There are some characters from TV shows and movies that leave a lasting impact on us. It's hard to imagine things could have been completely different had these roles been played by someone else. Whether the projects were promising or the casting agency's extensive search for the right actors, here are the top 10 roles everyone in Hollywood went after. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. All right, let's begin. Number 10, Carrie from Sex and the City. What better way to start than talking about everyone's favorite chick flick of all time, Sex and the City. Sarah Jessica Parker rose to fame after this movie came out. And while Sarah playing the role of Carrie has moved millions of fans to tears and laughter, it may come as a shock to know that she wasn't the first choice of the series creator Darren Starr. The casting agency chose Sarah after months of searching for the perfect face, and no one's complaining. Number 9. James Bond The hunt to find the next 007 is always exhilarating. Although six actors have played the role of the world's most celebrated spy, every time there's a lookout for a new actor to play James Bond, a plethora of British actors come forward and everyone holds their breath. Big artists like Liam Neeson, Michael Caine, Idris Elba, Tom Hardy, Tom Hiddleston have all been known to want to play the role of James Bond. But until anything is finalized, we know it's Daniel Craig who gets the honor to be the current Bond. Number 8. Katniss from The Hunger Games It's no surprise that after the trilogy received a colossal success, there was a line of eager actresses waiting to earn the role of badass lead character Katniss Everdeen. Actresses such as Saoirse Ronan, Shailene Woodley, Abigail Breslin, Haley Steinfeld all competed to get the role, but it was Emily Browning who was the top choice for casting managers. Yet we all know in the end, the role of Katniss was eventually played by Jennifer Lawrence, and we can't imagine anyone else with a bow slung over their shoulder in that role. Number 7. Michael Corleone in The Godfather It's hard not to think of Al Pacino every time someone says The Godfather. It may come as a surprise that Paramount Pictures had many competing actors to take on board for this franchise. Jack Nicholson showed immense interest in playing the role of Michael Corleone. Dustin Hoffman and Warren Beatty also wanted to get this role and gave auditions for it. Eventually, after much dispute amongst the casting directors, it was Al Pacino who played the role. And might we agree that he did justice to Corleone's character? Number 6. Michael Scott from The Office The Office is an all-time favorite sitcom of comedy lovers. Steve Carell's face has become an iconic remembrance of one of the most beloved characters in Hollywood, Michael Scott. The role was widely disputed for. Hank Azaria, Alan Tudyk, and Ben Orderkirk were running neck and neck for the competition to get the role, but they were all turned down. Even Rain Wilson was interested in playing Michael's role and auditioned for it, but he ended up getting that of Dwight Schrute. The role was simply written for Carell to play. Number 5. Amy Dunn in Gone Girl Gone Girl is one of the most cherished books, and the actor to play the amusing character of Amy Dunn was carefully sought to satisfy the fans. Oscar-winning actress Natalie Portman was eager to play the role, and no doubt she'd bring her unique take to it. Even fan favorite Olivia Wilde and the extremely talented Charlotte Charlize Theron were interested in the role. But the role was eventually played by Rosamund Pike, who brought Amy's character to life. Number 4. Olivia Pope from Scandal As soon as the news left the writer's room that Shonda Rhimes had lifted her pen to write another series, many actresses perked up at the possibility of playing the role of the lead character. Experienced and talented actresses like Taraji P. Henson and Gabrielle Union openly expressed their interest in the role. Even Connie Britton came forward to play the role of Olivia, but she was rejected as the show required a black woman. After a long selection process, Kerry Washington was picked to play Olivia, and she reached the pinnacle of her career after this. Number 3. Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey Fifty Shades of Grey is one of the best-selling erotic novels written by E. L. James. During the casting of the film, James had very specific ideas on who to cast for the role of a highly attractive CEO, Christian Grey. Fans desperately wanted Ian Summerhalder, Alex Bledel, or Matt Bomer to play the role. Charlie Hunnam was finally chosen to play the role, but he pulled himself out of the production as he was hesitant to do an erotic movie. Call it fate, because Irish actor 
actor Jamie Dornan was then selected to play the role, and it's sufficient to say that the fans were content to see him on the big screen. Number 2. Rachel Green from Friends There is no debate when it comes to the most watched sitcom of all time because nothing can compete with Friends. The show's sweetheart Rachel Green is played by Jennifer Aniston. It's impossible to imagine anyone else playing Rachel. But it is shocking to know that Taya Leone was almost finalized to play the character of Rachel, as she was the director's favorite. Tiffany Thyssen, Elizabeth Berkley, Jane Krakowski all also expressed a strong interest in the role. Even Courtney Cox gave an audition to play Rachel's character but was chosen instead as Monica. Let's be honest, Jennifer is perfect for Rachel's diva character. Number 1. Harry Potter Let's end this with the chosen one, Daniel Radcliffe. Harry Potter is one of the most influential franchises in the world. Warner Bros. put an open call for auditions on the internet, and more than 40,000 people sent in their audition tapes for the role of Harry. The author of the series did not interfere much in the casting process, but her only demand was that the actor must be British. Hence, Liam Eichen was rejected. Haley Joel Osment and Jonathan Lipnicki were interested in the role as well. Even Tom Felton wanted to initially play the role of Harry. Eventually, Daniel got the final call to play Harry's role, and we can't imagine anyone else's round face screaming Evada Kedavra on screen. Maybe in an alternate universe, we'll see if other actors could bring justice to the roles they fought for. But in this universe, I think we're all pleased with the choices that have been made and brought to life. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content, as we'll soon be seeing you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.